Hello, friends, and welcome to Mega Man March Monday Madness Mini Monday, where we play Mega Man X games and we're happy about it. So this is going to be like a smaller thing, where unlike the last Mega Man March Man Madness Man. I'm just going to be doing the first three X games in a row, not not the whole sub-series. So yeah, here it is. Um, I didn't set up a scene for this, so there's going to be some black bars at the top and bottom. I just don't feel like dealing with that tonight, but I'll, I'll have it fixed for X2. Also, I'm glad to know that people do, in fact, see the stream go live notification majigs. Okay, game could probably be a little bit louder. I'm playing this on my real Super Nintendo. My uh, controller adapter is turned off. I have a Bluetooth. I have a Bluetooth thing and I'm using a SNES Classic controller. Alright, so let's watch the opening. Good thing to know we have like several terabytes of RAM in the future, but we're still using a command line system. X is the first of a new generation of robots which can contain an innovative new feature, the ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were to break the first rule of robotics, a robot must never harm a human being. The results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until reliability has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 18th, 2000XX, Thomas Light. And yeah, I, the game probably is a bit on the quiet side. I'll, I'll I'll fix it in a minute once we have constant music playing. Okay, so time to configure the controls to my liking. Oh, we could just use this. All right, check check. All right, checking, checking. Bit more, bit more. All right, checking, checking, checking. That's probably good. Okay then, Mega Man X time. Gotta turn up my mixer a little bit. All right, let's get started. Password. All right, so basically the story of this game, which I will talk about as I'm walking along, 
Dr. Light one day is just like, all right, Mega Man, my son, look at this thing I'm building. Oh, what is that, Dr. Light? Well, it's, it's you, but better. What makes it better? Um, he can, you know, feel emotions and stuff, and also he can kill people. Uh, Dr. Light, I, I don't know, I don't know about that one. <laughs> don't worry, my son, I will seal him in a capsule for 30 years in order to make sure that he does not want to kill people. Also, about the emotions, I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've felt emotions on at least one occasion. And no, my son, you are a cold, unfeeling machine. Now this, this baby right here, he's the new hotness. So basically, uh, many years later, another scientist named Dr. Kane finds him. Finds his capsule and he's like, well, hot dog, look at this guy. So he takes him out. And he's like, oh, I bet I could make some more robots. I could bet I could make some more robots like him. Uh, I'll call them Reploids, because they're replicant androids. So he does that, except he doesn't totally understand how X works. But he doesn't let that stop him, like many of the greatest minds of our current day. So... He builds a bunch of those, but unfortunately, they start turning against their masters and they are called Mavericks. So, in order to deal with that, he creates a new set of Reploids designed to be Maverick Hunters, led by Sigma. And in a twist of fate, uh, Sigma himself turns into a Maverick. <laughs> and that's about the st where we're at with this game. So yes, main, main difference between this and classic Mega Man right now is you can do this very interesting. Also, some people make a big deal about how great this uh, intro level is because like, oh look, you're down here. And if you walk off the ledge, oh, he slides. So it just lets you know something's up. It lets you know something's up with this. And I mean, yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty intuitive intro stage, though my main issue is I don't feel like it really gives you a whole lot if you've played the game before. I feel like my, uh, like my webcam is slightly off. No, now it's worse. Like I said, it's hard for me to know because I'm I'm always off to the I'm always off to the side. Yes, escape you. That'll probably be that'll probably be fine. Right there. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably all right. Um, so yeah, I feel like it doesn't really give a lot for people who have played the game before. Like, see, I've played the... Oh, something I didn't notice the first time I played this game. Uh, the palette gets lighter when you get closer to the, the lights. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, it seems a little basic in comparison to other intro stages that come later. Also, you'll, you'll notice some visual artifacting because of how just the SNES handles RGB. I apologize for that, but there's not much I can do. Hoop. 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 Dudes driving cars. Yeah, it's just kind of me being OCD, truthfully. Oh, there's the plane. Dudes and cars, dudes and cars. Whoop. Oh, what's this? Oh, that guy looks a little familiar. You ever seen him before, like, in a movie, maybe? Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna win. Well, that's alright, you're not supposed to win. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you really think you could defeat me? Oh, 
uh, my cam and voice is like a second ahead. Yeah, that's because I was uh, streaming Sonic Adventure. Thank you for telling me that. I, I totally forgot. I'll have to do a sync check in a second because of that. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to be defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. Humble brag. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. All right, this is the password. All right, so here's our robot masters, so to speak. Okay, so quick sync check. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Down. Up. No, it's a little... It's a little too far now. Let me try resetting... Resetting the capture card, see if that'll fix it. I mean, I could manually adjust it, but that would be the easiest solution, so I'm trying that first. Down, up. Down, up. Yeah, just gonna have to uh, manually adjust. Okay, try that. Down, up. Yeah, that's 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 a lot better. Okay, so back to back to game. So you're pretty much supposed to go for this guy first. He gives you the dash upgrade, but I've decided that I'm going to avoid him for a little bit because it would be funny if I didn't get the dash upgrade. So you can see a map of where they all are, yeah, there's some specs. I'm gonna go for Flame Mammoth. All the bosses are based on animals this time around. Alright, here we go. You can uh, wall jump up there if you're good and glitch the game out. But yes, we're in some kind of robot recycling plant, which is pretty gruesome, all things considered. Yeah, so you're pretty much expected to go to uh, Chill Penguin stage first and get the dash. So not having that will prove a little harder, but, you know, I, I want to try it. It's a challenge. Oh, that's a cool motorcycle. It just went by. Oh, we got lava geysers. Every good game has them. If you listen closely, you can hear Seinfeld bass. Hmm, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, that jump was fine. Come 
Minecraft. I too like to build brown bricks in Minecraft. So, you can see there's like a little thing down there. Can't get that yet, but that's one big difference between this series and the classic series is that there are items hidden in the stages to collect and I'm gonna be coming back to get those. So it's possible that this game might take two streams because of that instead of just one, but I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, uh, uh. Let's not get crushed today. Oh, a little nasty jump. Got dripped on by lava. Weird swoopy guys. Weird uh, ball and chain guy. Not too hard to do it. Get hit by all the lava driplets. I hereby command this particular drop of hot sauce to be really, really hot. Oop, okay. These guys are weird. They do not come of this earth. And there's the end of the stage. So now we will fight Flame Mammoth. I'm like Okay, so he's like the big old heavy guy that uh will knock you over. Oh. Probably not going to get him first try. Oh, yep, definitely did not get him first try. Like I said, uh, you're supposed to have a dash, and it would be easier with the dash, but I think it is funnier. It is funnier if I don't get the dash. Oh. Oh, watch it. Watch it there, guy. Okay, that that went better. Oh, we're going back to the right. Oh, we're getting oily. Nope, nope. The oil rarely accomplishes anything. Okay, and there we've taken care of Flame Mammoth. Alright, sure, let's go for Armored Armadillo. Why not? Probably the best music in the game. Eagle has some stuff you can get with fire. Well, I'll go to him next. Okay, so here's a little cameo by our favorite friend.
This is the Bubble Bat, who only shows up here. And he has a very high chance of dropping lives. So in case you just thought I had the best luck on the on the entire world. No, no. This is, he's just he just does this. And I figure, you know, while we're here, might as well stock up a little. There's also a secret in this stage, but we can't uh, get it yet. In the mines. There is an ostrich in the mines. <laughs> That's a silly enemy. I like it. All right, so there's a there's a thing uh, coming up here that I I don't know if I'm able to get right now. Stupid me tools. <laughs> Leave me be. Oh, 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 that was a close one. Oh no, wait, I remember, I remember now. This isn't the right thing. It's you go, you go over here after. After the tank has been destroyed. And there's something hidden behind its starting position. Blech. Yes, this is basically the equivalent to an E-tank, a sub-tank. It's empty right now, but you can fill it up with health pickups that you collect in the level. So you basically have infinite E-tanks if you're good enough at not getting hit. So as you can see, i filled it up a little bit. And you can go ahead and use that if you want to. Like, you don't have to wait till it's full. You can basically save health pickups for later. And I probably will be taking full advantage of this game mechanic. You'll hear a special noise when I've filled it up all the way. Ooh. See, these are basically the Mega Man X equivalent to the Bubble Bat. These guys. Yeah, see that noise. Yeah, as Langton said, it only fills up if you're already at full health. But still, it's pretty, it's pretty good. You can ride this thing. And it's a little glitchy sometimes. Still cool, though. Okay, so we're gonna fall behind this guy. And you wanna, like, just hammer the shoot button. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Oh god, I just missed it. Oh god, I had the fire wave! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot I had the weapon. It's alright, I can do it again. Yeah, so just the... Uh, yeah, there you go. So, if you can keep him from destroying it, you can go up here and get a heart. Which, as you could probably predict, increases your max health. Just like in the Zeldas. And you get like this cool part right here. That the SNES is barely capable of handling. Yeah, so see right here is where the secret is. But you can't get it until you've beaten all the stages and come back. And I probably will be doing that. It's just screw it. You know why not? Okay, now let's see if I can take care of this guy. I don't have his weakness, but let's see if I can take care of him anyway. Oh, well, not a good start. I mean, I have a whole mess of life. Okay, so.
Let's just let's see what I can do. Might take me a minute, but I think I can, uh, I think I can see this through. How about, how about this? No, he doesn't, he doesn't care. Maybe not this life, but I think I think I can make this happen. Oh, <laughs> he is not he is not taking a lot of damage though. <laughs> Probably should have gone for a uh, storm eagle, like Langton said, but. That's not good. It's not good for me if he does that. <laughs> oh, jump, dude. I don't know. Maybe I can't make this happen. Probably should not have ground so many lives. It is warm in this house, let me tell you. Yeah, the problem is this. He keeps doing he keeps doing this. Uh. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. This fight's going to take like 3 hours. If I if I if I do it, this fight's going to take 3 hours. So I'm just going to I'm just going to die. I'm just gonna, like, suicide on this. I'm appalled at how well that strategy is working. Okay, so let's uh, go to Eagle instead. Another stage where you're very much expected to have uh, the dash. I think there's a secret up above that I can't get because <laughs> I don't have the dash. But you can do this. I'm pretty sure you gotta, like, do a dash jump to the uh, left in order to get up there. 
However, you can uh, do this. Oh, no, wait, no, you can't. I was mistaken. That was not the thing. Was there something interesting over here? Is that modestly interesting? I'm not doing good. Gotta check in here. Her oh, got hit. Slowed down, got hit. So this is an airport. You can do airporty things. Actually, you can't because there's like coronavirus going on right now. So you're gonna have to hold off on that one. All right, take me up. Up, <laughs> getting hit by every enemy. Okay, so just go up this way. There's another sub tank in there. And uh, yeah, you blow up that enemy and it just destroys all the windows for no other reason besides we thought it looked cool. Oh no, oh my god, that guy is come back. I don't think there's anything down there. And I think, you know, it may sound like a joke, but I, I think I'm the... Like, it's legitimately the Seinfeld base. Like, it's the same sample that they used in Seinfeld. Which is funny to me. And just shoot a lot of the same guy. Oh, there's there's a thing there. All right, what's this way? It's a life. I'll I'll take it. Oh, and in this game we got slopes. Who would have thought they finally invented slopes in the future? Oh, there's a life up there. I don't know which way you're actually supposed to go. Oh, oh no, I, I feel like... I feel like you're supposed to get picked up by that guy. No, no, I was mistaken. <laughs> I did not remember. Okay, so I would go down here. Okay, there's, there's something up there. Might not be able to get it yet, though. Because as previously mentioned, uh, no dash. Let's see, can I make it? I don't know if I can make it without the dash. Hurt. Eh, nope. Don't think it's don't think it's happening. But at least we got the uh, second sub tank. We got that going for us. All right, let's go. Nothing down here that I can see. Wobbly clouds. Herp. Oh, 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 they're falling. Oh. We're on a craft of some sort. We're rising. Unique turret that appears, I think, nowhere else in the level. So just uh, gonna go in here, gonna climb on down. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna land right there.
Oh, it's a bird! Bird has come to town. Okay, so he can he can spit out babies as all birds are able to do. It's hard to find a good moment to uh, shoot at him. Oh no wait, I might have it. Okay, fire the babies. Her Oh, I might be dead. I might be dead. I'm dead. <laughs> well, that wasn't a half bad attempt, I don't think. Ship is already pre-destroyed. All that is cheap. Well, well, keep in mind you're probably supposed to have a dash for this. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh, really? Just gonna do that many? Okay, so it's probably a good idea to stick around the uh, start of the arena. Oh, baby time. Double baby, a bubble blowing double baby. He is dead. Got them sweaty palms. Yeah, that's a good weapon right there. Password. The great thing about streaming is I don't have to write down the password. By virtue of streaming it, it is already written down. Okay, so... Hmm, who do I go for now? Anyone but this guy. Could go for Boomer Kawanger. His, his stage requires you to revisit it to get all the things anyway. Then again, actually, so like when the man leaves that exploded falling ship, does it just land somewhere and cause destruction? Funny you mention that, because yes, it does. Specifically in this guy's stage. As you can see right here. So basically, if you beat uh, Storm Eagle stage first, the ship crashes into this stage and breaks the electronics that are in it. So normally there would be electricity surging through the floor. And it would like do damage to you. And yeah, the lights will now go out. Uh, there are other effects on other stages that you will see. Luckily though, oh yeah, you need a you need Boomer Kwanger's weapon to get that one. We're just we're gonna have a cleanup part where we just uh, go and go back through the stages and get all the items. For now though, let's just uh, let's just enjoy ourselves. Sadly though, 
Uh, none of the other X games do anything like like that quite to this extent. I think X2 has some minor details where the level changes, but it's usually just like some graphical stuff. These guys are the worst. They just show up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, as Langton said, X6 does something kind of like it, but it's very frustrating in that game. Okay, the water gloobal man. Ah, oh, he's gloobling. He's gloobling me. Could probably use a uh, use my fire against this guy. Let me go. Yeah, I think the fire. Oh no! Wait, no wait. Use use tornado. Want that? <clears throat> I'm gonna grab me one of those. Oh, there's this guy, Wheelie Man. He's wheeling. He's wheeling and he's dealing. It's dark, but I can still see it's a visual effect and not really fun for gameplay. Thank you for being a friend. Okay, kill a lot of the, you know, the same kind of guy again. Kill the guy. Probably could have grabbed that weapon energy now that I have weapons, but whatever. Turtle. Mm. <coughs> okay, here's another one I can't get yet. Oh my god. <coughs> you can get that with the dash or with Kuwanger's weapon, but since I have neither. Okay, getting full health. We got we're good on lives. Yeah, it's the darkness is mostly just for visual effects. You can still see where like all the level is. I mean, it might not be good for people who have poor eyesight. I mean, granted, I have poor eyesight. That's why I'm wearing glasses. Okay, time to man the drill. Get in the drill. <clears throat> Dive to the center of the earth. <clears throat> Check out my neon. Okay, just jump halfway across the stage. Okay, he's a monkey. So he likes to do the swing thing. I mean, he's not your usual kind of monkey, but he is still a monkey. Yeah, this guy it will be... will be trivial without the death. Oh. <laughs> Pounch! It's probably a bit worse on, uh... bad CRTs, yeah. Monkey! Okay. Oh, fist, fist, punch. 
Oh, that's right, you can shoot him while he's up. You ever heard of hitting somebody while they're down? Well, I'm gonna hit him while he's up. Hit somebody while they're on top of the world. Oh, God! That was... Well, it had to happen at one point. It had to happen at some point. The one hit away death. <clears throat> I really like the uh, ambient track that plays when the bosses are introducing themselves. It just makes everything sound so rad. Okay, so he's usually he usually does that after he does the uh, the punch, the, you know the the uh, electro. Oh, this is not good. This is not good for me. Okay, I still got one left. Thank you for being a friend. I think the trick is I probably do want to stay close to the uh, wall. Whenever possible. Oh, you can, you can shoot him while he's doing the punch, and it sends him back. How did I not get hit by that? Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, the more I play, the more I think this is probably going to be a two-stream affair, which makes me glad that I decided to just do the first three. Oh god, I could have used my sub-tank! God! Oh well. Now we know. Thank you for being a friend. Brought me down the road and back again. So like in most Mega Man games, if you press both weapon change buttons at the same time you can go back to your neutral buster no matter where you are in the cycle so that's good Mario and Luigi does a similar thing with the bro moves you actually didn't know that oh you poor thing oh Uh, can you perish soon, please? Okay, thank you. Oh, it's oh wheelie wheelie man. Oh no, he he came back. Oh no, he came back again. Well, the hits start coming and they don't stop coming. Oh. I'm trying to fill up these sub tanks, but it's not working out so good. Okay, you go acquire a food. I'll be here acquiring a knuckle sandwich.
I'll come back for you one day, Heart Capsule. One day. One day, Gadget. Uh, between that and the brown bricks, this is pretty much the Inspector Gadget stream, isn't it? I mean, I guess he's like a... a cyborg or an android of some kind. So, I mean, it fits well enough, I guess. I can see why all the kids are playing Mega Man X. Alright, let's doot. Let's just doot. This game makes you thumb tired from holding down the Y button. Mm, pardon me. I ate pizza and I'm dying. Rope. Oh. He, oh man, he, he is into the punches. <laughs> I don't like my lack of lives. But yeah, stay close to the wall. Whenever possible, but... But if he's already close to you, it may not be a good idea to run for the other one. Like right here. Maybe don't run for the other one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm, I don't know. I don't want to use it. But I might. Oh, I blocked him. Blocked him out of the punch. Oh, it didn't need it. The way the screen fades to white while they're exploding is is awesome. Sonic Rush in, ended up doing a similar thing, but that wasn't until the DS. And we get Electric Spark. Now now take on Armadillo. That's yeah, that's a good idea. That's this is his weakness, in case nobody knows. And it does a funny thing to him. It kind of looks like M Armadillo has man boobs, honestly. Makes him actually defeatable. Well, hang on. Let's uh, stock back up. Just a, just a couple more lives. This is pretty much the ideal life grinding spot for that very reason. Do you know the weakness order for each game? I mean, not to the point where I could recite it, but I, I think it's mostly like how I am with most Mega Man games where it's like I, I sort of have a feel for it, but I don't have it committed to memory. Like, for instance, I knew that, um... I knew that Armadillo was weak to electric. And, uh... I mean, there's, there's some others. Oh, da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 Guy's on my butt! Oh, this guy's chasing me fast. I better run or I'm not gonna last. This guy's gonna kill me. Oh god, there he comes. <laughs> Brush your gums. <laughs> well, Armored Armadillo was born in May. He remembers quite well that awful day. It, it. 
sit. 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 But. Okay, now for the ride. So here I am, doing everything I can. Holding on to who I am. Pretending I'm a Superman. Gotta jump good. Okay, here's the other ride. What if they added a combat system to Tony Hawk games? You have to skate, but you also have to shoot the other skaters. Don't worry though, they're all robots. Robot skaters. And you can, you can switch your weapon while the boss is doing his intro, so that's cool. So... So, you'll notice, it fries off his armor. I, I may want to use my uh, sub tank for this one. It, nope. There we go. So yeah, fries his armor off, and he is completely defenseless. That's not true. He's he's still got some defenses, but he he's not nearly as defenseful. Is that a word? Whatever, it's a word now. I, I made it up. It's my new word. Rolling shield. Password. Okay, so we've taken out a good a good few. I think I'll do uh No, no, actually I'm gonna do Kawanger next. Okay, Kawanger. Alright, so, Kuang Boomer Kuanger is kind of like a weird mixture of an abbreviation and a mistranslation. So, Boomer stands for Boomerang, and Kuanger, I think, would be more appropriate as Beetle, like he's a stag beetle. So, I think the proper name for him would probably be Boomerang Beetle. Which also rolls up the tongue pretty well, I think. Gonna fall down. Can't shoot at his shoes. He's also the only Maverick in the game whose Japanese and English names are the same. Yes, I failed to mention that, but uh, most of the Maverick names in the Japanese version are different and kind of more convoluted. Alright, so here's our obligatory... Our obligatory stealth segment. Her oh, good thing you can jump on those. You're supposed to have a dash for this part. Yes, Chill Penguin, hilariously, is Icy Pinguigo. Oh. <laughs> Turtle shows up again. I don't mind. Turtles are good. I mean, I mind because he's my enemy, but not because he is a turtle. I am not in a not in a good position right now. <laughs> yeah, his projectiles despawn. Oh, okay. Elevator. Elevator time. Oh, and my health pickup falls through the platform. Arr. This is this is so much less obnoxious with the dash. Orchestra hits the song. So now we're outside. Didn't manage to get that guy, but that's okay. 
Um, I mean, I got lots to spare. I'm not going to use my sub tank. Herp, okay. Alright, let me on through. Alright, come, come on, come on. No, it's okay. It's alright. Going up. Alright, so you see, yeah, that. So, you're pretty much expected to come back here with, <laughs> with this weapon. With this boss's weapon, so you're gonna have to play the stage twice, usually. Though, if you're pretty good, you can use, uh, old Icy Pinguigo's weapon to get it instead, but it's a bit harder. But I'm also avoiding him, so I don't have his weapon either. I'm gonna die. I am going to die. <laughs> I got poked by a gun and I died. Got to climb the building again. That's not going to work. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad a level. Right, let me own up. Let me own up. Let me own up. <laughs> nope, didn't get me. Tried to get me, didn't get me. Because you cannot beat me. I don't know if you can get crushed by those platforms, but I hope not. Either way, I didn't, so it's fine. Oh, do do do. Yeah, that's just a rude gun. It just kind of chills out up there. I mean, granted, I don't I don't know many polite guns either, so. Oh, you can also do that. That that works out too. All right, we are in the blue zone. Everything I see is just blue inside and outside. That's not true that the background could be argued as being green. Abba di abba die. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Don't know how this fight's gonna go. We're gonna try it. Okay, he has he has teleport magic. Okay, he's he's basically new age cut man. Oh, and he could throw me into the ceiling. Yeah, I mean I can probably make this work. Yeah, I think the trick is you want to get him to throw his uh, thing so he can't grab you. Knock it off! <laughs> Dwayne. 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 Could you- would you cut that out? Yeah, can definitely make this work.
Yes. And so the reign of terror caused by his teleporting has been put to an end. Boomer Kwanger will never again telefrag another person. I mean, I mean, let's be real though. If I had, if I had the ability to teleport, I would absolutely just be teleporting all over the place constantly. All right, so now I'm gonna go for him. For uh, what's his, what was his name? Stink Chameleon. Yeah, there. You see, it says right there. What if, what if I could like reach out of my border and just go like you know, stick my hand over in front of the game and just point at it like, yeah, this part right here. <laughs> oh, you think you're safe? Okay, so we're in the Robo Woods. Robo Lumberjack cutting Robo Tree. I mean, why does a robo tree need cutting? Robo worm, I'm sure. Probably a robo worm. In the future, trees have gone extinct. But it's okay, because mankind has invented its own tree. There's a secret here, but I can't get it yet. We have built a better tree. There's a secret up there, too, but I also can't get it yet. We have built a better tree. Ah, oh, the blocks, they're falling. Marble, marble zone. Yeah, the game really does expect you to go get the dash. But it is technically possible to play through most of the game without getting it as I have demonstrated. Unfortunately though, it's not possible to beat the game without the dash because you'll find that it's kind of impassable. And I don't even just mean like, oh, you know, there's a part of the level design that requires you to have a dash. No, it's like you literally cannot beat the game without having gotten the dash. It's just right in the way. You'll see it, believe me. Okay, I'm getting back into the groove a little bit. I was getting hit a lot at the beginning. And I still am, but not as much. Oh yeah, here's here's a thing about the Mega Man X series. You got ride armor. You can punch feast. Yes, punch. And you get a taste of the dash because the ride armor has it. This guy has one too though. He's sinking in the swamp. Gonna refrain from making the obvious joke about a swamp. But I suppose in saying that, I have kind of made the reference anyway. But yeah, these ride armors show up again in the series. So don't worry, they get they get some use out of them. My fist is too tall, can't fight the boss with it. Okay, spoiler alert, but in X4 you get to fight a boss with one. But until then, you cannot fight a boss with a ride armor. You always wanted to ride Robotnik's machines. Hey, and I suppose in Mania they let you do that. If only briefly. Okay, so... This is, this is kind of tricky because... Whether or not you're on the ground affects... The trajectory of this projectile. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is definitely one of those... His weakness makes him a pushover, bosses. I say, running dangerously low on health. 
but not dying. Hmm. No, this is going faster than I thought it would. Maybe this won't be a two-stream thing. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So only two left. Gonna go for a launch octopus. Oh yeah, it's definitely doable. I mean, they're all te they're all doable, technically. But I mean, I don't know. It, it didn't seem like it was too hard. I just I didn't feel like attempting it. <laughs> So we got water. <laughs> got uh, shells in the water. This is some very grainy looking sand. It's kind of it's kind of nice. Looks very wet and gritty. You know the kind. You, if you've been to a beach, you know the kind. I mean, y'all ever think about how sand is mostly just ground up shells? It's freaky, right? Uh, seahorse! Leave me alone, Debbie! Alright, so mini boss, mini boss time. He shoots stuff. Could actually could probably use a tornado. And it would prove particularly effective. Oh, well, but at least, at least I got a one-up out of it. Oh, no, it's the Vorfish. <laughs> they don't they don't actually do much damage to you. In fact, not eating you is probably a better course of action than eating me. Because, see, eating me, it doesn't do anything. I just bust out. Because I'm badass. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no! I can't believe I'm alive. It's kind of a miracle, don't you think? This guy has a lot of help. Gonna have to refill. <laughs> oh yeah, this. What was the deal with that? Oh yeah, this. Go. Okay, now I have arisen. You wanna know why this is a fun underwater level? Because it still plays like the rest of the game. <laughs> I could just do a fun platforming level, and no one will stop me. Alright, so here's a very silly, like, little thing. If I can get up there. Thank you, slow down. Don't want to waste any more of my... I mean, I could use the, the flamethrower, maybe, but... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty okay. I say as I keep getting hit by these missiles. Okay, so, crash in the ship, it breaks, busts through the ground, lands down here. Alright, so there's a sort of mini-boss down here, right about here. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's not working. Gotta use, gotta bring in the, that, 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 that. That was a close call and a half. I just realized that we've played through all the stages, and there's one type of upgrade we haven't witnessed. I'm not gonna spoil it for those who don't know about this series. 
But let's just say there's, well, there's a type of upgrade we haven't seen yet. <laughs> because I've been dodging all the moves you're supposed to have to get them. Uh, yeah, there's another one over here. Yeah, give me some, give me some health. Who? Oh, not again! Oh, and I really like this exit area. Looks good. So I'll try beating him with just the buster, but I, I'm sure I have to have his weakness in here. I do, okay. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. No, wait. I'm gonna try fighting with just the buster first. Cause I, you know, I got lives. Dude. Yeah, I don't know, maybe not. This guy's a little, this guy's a little tricky. Oh yeah, there he is. That, that's what I was thinking of, actually. I'll give it maybe one more try with the buster, but then for the sake of keeping things moving along, I'll probably just go for the weakness. Also, for those unaware, there's a remake of this game for the PSP, and uh, everybody's voiced and the results there are exactly what you feel like they would be. I think the problem is I keep insisting on like a fully charged shot. Yeah, X's voice in the PSP game is pretty good. I just wish that they didn't play it so much. Because he he plays a voice clip every single time you use a weapon, and it's super annoying. I'll probably stream that version one day, because it has some interesting differences. But today I just opted for ye old original. Oh, oh, he is he is chipping me. I am going to get. How did I not get hit by that? Yeah, he is he is chipping at me. How did I not get hit by that? Okay, I'm just gonna go for the weakness now. I think I got some allergies going on. All right, so this is not the weakness, I don't think, but it. Well, as Langton was mentioning, there is an easter egg if you use this weapon. So, let me just do that. I think. It is this one, right? Oh, yep. His tentacle come off. Okay, so I have no idea what his actual weakness is. I don't think it's this. It's this. Oh, uh, better use one of these just to be on the safe side. And then proceed to never get hit a single time. <laughs> Go figure. It, it is warm in here. <laughs> getting to be turn the uh, air conditioning back on season but I don't think that's going to happen all right so finally we're going to this guy's stage <laughs> to get the upgrade you're supposed to get very first thing
Oh, more lumberjacking. <coughs> rabbit. Laser rabbit. Laser rabbit. Okay, gotta restock my health. All right, going in the cave. Gonna go find some diamonds. These wheel guys. Audio out of sync. No, no, it's no big deal. You mean, you mean game audio, right? Well, let me take this moment to stand up for just a sec. You know, do the old uh, leg clot prevention measure. Use this as an excuse to turn my fan on for a second. Oh, yeah, feel the air. Feel the juice. Okay, uh, that ought to do it. And if my calculations are correct, game audio should be... Um, game? Okay, there you are. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so sink, jump, jump. Still about sink belt. All right, that's good. That's good. Alright, so this is why you can't beat the game without getting the dash. <laughs> because it it's right here, and you can't go past it. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world will allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Yes, because there's... There's nothing peaceful about going fast. And now, now his legs are white. And he can boost. He can dash now. Yes, the ability that we're supposed to have <laughs> pretty early on in the game. But here it is nonetheless. And here's another one of these. Okay, so go up here and use fire and you will find a heart. I like that you keep momentum if you jump with it for as long as you want it. Yep. Mega Man X in general is a much more momentum driven game than the uh, classic ones. It's a, there's a lot more speed, which you wouldn't know from the way I've been playing the original, but 
<laughs> it's the only game where the dash is optional for most of the levels. In X2, you just have it to begin with. <clears throat> Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. But also, nope. You know, I, I probably do not even need... I do not even need the weakness for Chill Penguin. He is, he is baby boss for babies. Wait, what? Why was that so short? And he slides on his belly. But he can cause a snowstorm. Yes, it's it that's actually completely factual to actual science. Ping real penguins slide on their belly because not even God can touch them in that state. If he would just slide, just keep sliding the whole fight and then Mega Man will be unable to win. Okay, now to go back. Oh, no, not yet. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Not yet, Zero. <laughs> Sigma doesn't look menacing He in this picture. He just kind of looks like he just doesn't want to be there, like... Okay, so I think we got everything in that level. Um, I think we got everything in that one. Let's, uh, hmm, where should we? Okay, well, we should probably go to this guy's first, because I think he has the upgrade. The upgrade I need. I think. Either way. I forget. I forget which levels the capsules are. Okay, there's there's one in um, Sting Chameleon, I believe. And one in Flame Mammoth. Is there one in this stage? There's four of them, but I don't remember where the fourth one is. Our Eagle Chameleon Mammoth. Okay, so there is, there is one in this stage that I need to find. Okay, so there was a heart over there. Got that. Hup. So now you can see what this stage plays like if you actually have the dash. Alright, come on, buddy. Oh, no. Hoop. Is there anything down here? No. Hoop. It looks like this is the kind of game to make you feel very powerful. Yeah, it's it's kind of got that Metroid sort of, like, you're building X up over the course of the game to, and by the end of the game, you're just a complete juggernaut. <laughs> that being said... Metroid becomes kind of easy when you have all the upgrades. X, I would argue X never becomes easy. It just becomes easier. <laughs> now I forget. Was this a life? Yeah, that was a life. Doesn't matter. Need lives.
Okay, so it's, it's, oh yeah, it's down here, down here. Yep. Yeah, because I couldn't make it up to this ledge before. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet, which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Oh, I didn't get it yet. Yeah, see, that wasn't me doing that. The game just does that. So I think that's all that's in this level, right? I mean, we've got a heart container, a sub tank, and a capsule, so... I can't imagine there being anything else. Password. Okay, so now we want to go to, I think, Flame Mammoth. And you'll notice that since I beat Chill Penguin stage, the lava here is now cooled, and you can walk on it. And you may remember that there was an upgrade down here. And I can now get that. But first... Oh, no, wait. Oh, God, I, I, I made a mistake. Oh, no, wait, I do have that. Yeah, since since you tend to play uh, Chill Penguin first, uh, most of the time the lava is already frozen by the time you get here. <laughs> this this jump is, has always been a pain. Did I just goof it? Is this jump no longer doable? I think it's still doable, but you have to have the might of God. <laughs> this capsule contains a part which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. So, since what Dr. Light has just said is a little vague, basically what he's talking about is it allows you to charge your special weapons. So, every special weapon has a charged form. And it also gives you a more powerful buster. Alright, so, I'll show that off. So, charge the missile. You get that. Charge the uh, chameleon sting. No, wait, that wasn't charged. And uh, I think it makes you invincible just outright. Or something. Alright, charge the shield. It gives you a shield. Shocker. Fire. This one's tricky because you're shooting it the whole time. You get like that. Tornado. You can do that. The electricity. Get you that. Cutter. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, and then ice. Now this is what I was talking about, about using this in Kuanger stage. You make a, a little ice statue of Chill Penguin, and you can uh, jump on it and ride it. And I think that's all of them. So yeah, there's a thing down here, which if you've beaten Chill Penguin stage, you can go get it. You can go get the heart. And yes, it took me a while to realize that the ice statue was, in fact, Chill Penguin. At first, I just thought it was like a nondescript ice platform, but no, it is, it is in fact Chill Penguin. And then there's a sub tank up here. Well, I mean, I didn't know that my first time playing. 
Don't, don't sweat it too hard. So we got a heart, we got a sub tank, and we got the capsule, so I think that will be it for this stage. So, I think do Kwanger next. I know of at least one thing we're missing here. Also, you can dash off a wall when you're jumping, which is very useful. Alright, just a heart. And yes, the stealth area is much easier when you have the dash upgrade, as you can plainly see. As well, I, well, I just messed that up. But goes by a lot quicker, a lot fewer hits. Alright, gotta go up the elevator again. Yeah, see, these guys are a lot less of a pain when you're able to dash. Oh, yeah, into, dash right into spikes. I, I mean, of course. Nope, didn't do it. Uh. Oh. Just kind of uh, give me, get me, get me up on there. Okay, so yeah, so what I was talking about was if you get the ice weapon, you can like put it out and ride it and then jump up here. But I think what's expected of you is to just uh, get his weapon, which can grab items and do this, which is a lot easier, but still, if if Icy Pinguigo is all you have, you can make it work. Okay, so I think we have everything here, here, here. Now we gotta go here. All right, so let's uh, just make a quick, a quick detour. Oh yeah, that is true what Langton is saying there. There's a glitch where you can use the uh, boomerang to pick up non-item things. But it's very specific if I were to call. So also here's a secret. <laughs> yeah, you can basically magic carpet across the entire stage. So here's this guy. Oh, now you gotta hit him in the head I think. Oh, dang it. This guy's pretty much a damage sponge. He likes to uh, take mini hits. And unfortunately, if you're touching like the lower part of his body, the upper part doesn't count. So what's this guy's deal? I have no idea. Don't worry, we'll be there in a little bit. We'll get there. And yeah, you see he started to smoke. 
Don't do that, kids. It's not good for your health. Good you cancer. Okay. What else can I use against this guy? Can I use fire? Yeah, he does respond to fire, but the problem is it puts me in a precarious position. Oh. He was, uh... He was grabbing the wall so that he could move in that direction. Okay, there we go. It only took about five years, but we did it. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Okay, let me let me go. Okay. So the other secret is down here. If you beat Launch Octopus, then the bottom of Chameleon Stage floods, which makes it possible to do this jump. Now I forget, was there something later in the stage that I didn't get? I feel like there was. Annihilated. Good thing is with the dash, this whole process can take much less time than it otherwise would. No, that no, that's it. I'm pretty sure. Password. So, was it here? Yeah, yeah, I was missing some stuff here. Thank you for being. No, I'm done. I'm done with that. Heart and a sub tank. Well, I already know where one of those is. All right, so the sub tank's right there. You basically get this fella's weapon. Oh no! Yeah, you get that fella's weapon. Do that, and then bam, sub tank. Got all four. You don't get any more than that, but you can refill them infinitely. There are many like it, but that one is mine. Okay, I gotta deal with these suckers again. Oh, I dashed into the ostrich by accident. Oh, yeah, it could show off the SBO power. So, yeah, just uh, completely invulnerable. Well, to mostly. Let's uh, switch to the tornado. The the one problem with the SBO power is that you're stuck using the SBO power. Can't use another weapon while you're invincible, but that's okay. Okay, let's 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 get moving. Get moving. Oh, yeah, I could use it here. Yeah, so just can quickly uh, bypass these enemies. Oh, well, it does run out. 
So yeah, you pretty much need the dash in order to get that heart. And even then, I'm surprised I got it on the first go. It's usually a bit harder than that. So I already went to Eagle, so... Do I have everything at this point? No, I gotta go to his stage, right? Right? Am I missing something in his? Ow. I mean, I got the, the capsule with the, uh... With the water fish thing. I don't know, do I actually have anything here? I think I have all the hearts. I have all the sub tanks, so... No, that might be it. Am I missing a piece of armor? Was it a heart you got from the fish dragon? I got that. And I got the, uh... I'm pretty sure I got the, um... The armor. I think there was ar No, there's... No, you have full armor. Okay, so I guess we got everything. So there's one more thing left to get. I think Langton knows what I'm talking about. Do I need full health to get this? Or is that just like X? That's just X2, right? That's just the X2 thing. So gonna wanna make sure I have full lives for this. You think it's full health. Okay, so gonna wanna have max lives for this. Hello, counterfelt gimmicks. And yeah, we got the uh, sub tanks. Those are very well taken care of. Come on, give me a life. Oh, hope you're doing well tonight. Well, thank you. Uh, I am mostly doing well. And I hope you're doing well as, as well. You don't think I have full HP. Oh, you don't think you have to have full HP, you mean to say? Okay. Yeah, it might just be jump up on the thing. I mean, I'll probably try to have a... Uh, Full HP anyway, if I can help it. You know, you know, let's just let's just not waste any time. I'm gonna look it up. It says you need at least four lives, all heart upgrades, all sub tanks, and all weapons. No, it says make it. It does say make sure you have full health when you dash to the ledge. So you have to do it three times. Okay, so I'll try to do that. So just gotta get through most of his stage. The uh, secret is right at the end. It's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good title. The first time I ended up playing it was on uh, the X Collection on GameCube. Oh, and hello, Greeny Stash as well. Doing some Mega Man. Oh god, bats, bats everywhere. Oh, wheels. The wheel. Oop. Gotta fill up most of them. Okay, is this... No, this is the, uh, the second one. The third one is the one that I'm thinking of. What's cool is that whenever these guys drop one... They tend to drop it right on top of you, so you just grab it. Which is very nice. Very good way to grind up the uh, sub-tanks. I didn't mean to charge that. Oh well. 
Oh wait, I know. I can use uh, the chameleon thing to make sure I have invincibility when I'm going through the last part, I think. Okay, so this is the part. So, just, uh... Get this. Just kind of a... I might have done it too soon. Might have, might have done it too soon. Mm. Nope, I'm good. Okay, so get up here, jump up on the ledge, fall and die. And now you just repeat the process. Yeah, it is a pretty obscure secret. I mean, nowadays you could probably just like look through the game files and... Oh. I don't think I took damage there. It almost looked like I did. Okay, now just gotta do that a couple times. Oh wow, that was that was quick. I don't know. I think the uh, chameleon thing's probably not helping as much as I thought it would. But yeah, you definitely want to shoot the birds so they don't cause you issues. Like here. And I think just one more. The purple charge blast usually stays on screen long enough to kill everything. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. I hope I get full health before I make it there. Not looking good. Don't, don't worry, game. I have full health. But there it is. I give you special present. I give you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please. You know what? I feel all right. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, start doing the Sigma stages. So yes, if you have full health, you can do a quarter circle. And X throws a Hadouken, like in the, the Street Fighter. I'm surprised you aren't doing the Mega Man 8 light voice. Well, I want to leave Dr. Light some dignity. All right, so I'll move on to the Sigma stages. Why not? You know, I feel all right. We'll just, we'll just keep it going. Let's split up. I'll go in first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. So, what's neat about the Hadouken, though, is that it one-hit kills just about everything in the game. It's not easy. It's not easy to pull off, and you do need full health. But if you can land it, it'll one-hit kill even bosses. So yeah, these are basically the equivalent to the Wily stages from the classic series. As you have probably figured out. Uh, jumps. 
jumps with platforms. Oh, uh, jumps with death! Because <laughs> there's guys that just fly out of nowhere to kill you. Not, not the best designed part of the game, if you ask me. saving that so I could go and grab it in a second, but I waited too long. You know, perhaps I should uh, demonstrate. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Yeah, the trick is you don't want to you won't want to get too fancy with the platforms. Yeah, you want to just be patient and like don't uh, don't do that. That's a big tip right there. Oh well, and well, do that if you can help it. Okay. Oh. Oh <laughs> God, this part. This part is like the worst part. It's like one of the first things you do in Sigma's Fortress. No! No! I double tap the dash. I double tap the D-pad. Yeah, I actually did a marathon of most of the X Games myself. Oh, dang it, I keep forgetting about the... I keep forgetting about this weapon. I mean, what can I say? Mega Man is a good series for marathoning. You can you can get through them real quick. And yeah, I don't know if I specified because I forgot for a moment there were two collections. I played the GameCube, the one that was on GameCube, which was missing uh, X7 and X8, but it did have the uh, CD version of X3, so that was interesting. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. I'll take him on. Hello, Zweemer. Oh, it sounds like there's something going on in there. Oh, he captured Zero. X, do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons.
Oh, I got my fingers cramping. Maybe. But I'm not through yet. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Okay, no Hadouken. Oh. Don't get caught in that. You know, Vile, you're kind of lame without the, uh, the suit. So, spilled this ketchup on my face. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. And Zero's dead. Absolutely dead forever and did not get his own spin-off series Oop. So yeah in Wily stage tradition we bring back a lot of the old level gimmicks Okay. Er, er. Please die. Oh god, he's back. It's the guy. He's back for more. Oh yeah, they uh, move upwards if you try to shoot at them. Which often is not good enough to get you to not shoot at them. Oh, er. Oh god. Okay, into the boss door. Oh, but and you better believe we're getting refights. Okay, so what was his weakness? Was it was it Chameleon's thing or no, I think it was the homing missile, wasn't it? Because I guess the logic is he teleports and a homing missile gives away his location. Yes, and Zero absolutely does not have an infamous meme that he utters that hasn't happened yet. Definitely does not happen. Okay, moving on along. Sigma will pay. You will pay for this transgression. <laughs> no. <laughs> you you wasted your chance, me tools. Oh, 
All right, time for the actual boss. We had a whole bunch of bosses in this stage. I'm terrible at this. We pretty much just gotta figure out where it's going and shoot. Oh no, babies! Bow spider. Don't let the spider bite you. Wait, you can't, you can't, you can't eject babies mid move. That's illegal. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm so terrible at figuring out where that's going. Like, for instance, right there, on top of me. Probably a weakness, but whatever. Ah, missed. Okay, I saw that one. No, please. Please, no babies. No babies. Nope. Come on. Please, I beg you. I beg you. I don't want to use another one. No. God. No oh, babies. <laughs> Sound is very, very slightly out of sync. Should be good. Oh yeah, and it speeds up as the fight goes on. Because of course it does. I misread that one. I <laughs> had no idea where that one was going. Oh, what games are you streaming for the Mega Man March? Uh, the first three Super Nintendo X games, I decided to keep it on the minimal side. Just the first three. I mean, I'll do the other ones later, but that's just, that's what I'm focusing on right now. dash right into the freaking spot where he's about to be. Rad and bodacious.
<laughs> I have no cognitive ability. <laughs> cool layout. There we go. It is warm in here. All right, stage two. Moving platforms, but not really as much of a thing as the in the beginning. Ah, bats. The bats are everywhere. Alright, time for another refight. It is he. I see Pinguigo. But I, pro I probably don't even need his weakness. Because he's just that lame. Oh, you got one hit in on me. You're not a complete failure. Taken, taken firmly care of. I'll be taking that. Nope. Nope. Can't touch me. Probably got it. Oh, but Mech cannot climb ladder, so it must be parted with. Okay, so you can get crushed, but it's not instant death. Another refight. I think you know who against. Yeah, so that's the power of the dash. Okay, we're back to diving. Okay, there we go. Eagle is dead. And now we advance further. Nope, no babies this time. 
Maybe ran out of babies. A little more baby. Here lies Storm Eagle. He never scored. All right, actual boss time. And this is a weird one. Rangda Bangda. That's the boss's name. I didn't make that up. I have to fight this man's nose. Oh yeah, that's right. Which whichever color the eye is is what attack it does. So you get some uh some tells there. I'm getting hit by the nose a whole lot. Okay, eye is dead. I think I can do this without using a sub tank. Yep, there we go. Oh. Well, not if I'm bad. But I got him. Up we go. Okay, stage three, and I think... I think after this is only one more. And it's not much of one. Oh, I like this song. I mean, hey, classic Mega Man is pretty, pretty down to bring back the Yellow Devil every five minutes, so I suppose it's naive to assume that X won't do the same. Yeah, Armadillo's funny because he's either boss from hell or literally nothing. How do I get that? With the with the Kuang. Yeah, that works. Alright, which is this? Oh, it's a uh, chameleon. That effect that that effect that happens uh, that when he pops in is pretty cool for the Super NES, I gotta say. And hey, what's surprisingly nice is that if the uh, scissors don't hit anybody, then they'll come back and refill my ammo. So a waste-proof weapon. Who would have thunk?
Okay, um, where's the cutter? Where's the cutter? Oh man, I missed out on that one. <laughs> oh well. Alright, who's this? Oh, it's Spark Mandro. I, I don't remember what his weakness is. Uh, I doubt it's ice. That would probably be, uh... No, wait. No, wait, it is ice! <laughs> it's been a little while since I played Mega Man X, I'm just gonna say that much. I haven't done it in a little bit. <laughs> Oh no, not these jokers again. Get me out of the fish! Definitely want to render him incapable of tornadoing. Now, I forgot. Is this his weakness? Definitely does a heck of a lot of damage to him, I'll say that much. through the water zone. Now what was what was in there again? Oh, it's uh stuff. I could probably use um Icy Pinguigo. And get hit like fifty times and miss the health. I got the life though. <laughs> okay. Flame Mammoth. Slowly comes into view. And yep, removes his uh, trunk. So his, his, his isn't ice, because I already did the ice. Probably Tornado. Seem, yeah, seems like it. Cool pose you just did there, X. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my defense, Greeny Stash. Okay, now for actual boss time. This guy. <laughs> Dinosaur tank. Which I have, uh, I have trouble with them. Probably gonna need another life to fight this guy. Oh, that's right, he fires the energy ball. <clears throat> that's right, he does the thing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to use this weapon. Oh, <laughs> jumped too soon, dodged anyway. Oh, nope, nope, okay. Oh God. Oh, 
The truck. The dinosaur truck. Okay, we got it. And then I think we have one stage left. And again, I said not, not much of one. Yeah, this is the last stage. And it's more of just a corridor leading up to uh, the fight against Sigma. Hmm, I got three sub tanks. I don't know if that'll be enough. Probably should, uh... Probably should earn up some. Fill up my last one. Luckily, these guys are very generous with their item drops. Mm, getting close, getting close. Oh. Fell right off the wall. Okay, there we go. Welcome! I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I'll be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. I forgot what the dog's weakness is. Flamethrower? Oh. So, I think you basically just want to hug the wall. Because the dog will always jump up at the wall, which makes him very predictable. Oh, <laughs> except when he uh, does that instead. Okay, dog exploded. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You're almost as good a hunter as I was. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. And he's got a lightsaber. Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna hug the wall with Sigma too. Because Sigma becomes very predictable if you do this. Oh. That being said, he is not taking a lot of damage. Does anybody know what the weakness is for this form? Spark. Okay.
you like how you like how I dodge that without looking at the screen? Yeah, I don't I don't like the flex usually, but I think that was pretty good. Hello, magical mystery Vita man. Alright. I'm ahead. Oh, yeah. It does that. Oh, no, no, no. Gonna use one sub tank. I have become the wolf. I didn't mean to use that. Okay, gonna use one more. That might be all I need. And there we go. No! It's not possible! I'm a Reploid! I can't be destroyed by you! Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Thank you, gentlemen, and... No, I think just gentlemen, right now. Also, that was on a floating island, apparently. Somebody took the Master Emerald. That's alright, magical mystery tour. The war has ended. For now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves... For the victory will never return. <laughs> Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answer seemed to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. I'm sorry, this is, <laughs> these endings are always a little heavy-handed. <laughs> Why are we here? Just to suffer. Cast. You get to see the you get to see the enemy names, but you don't get to know which which robots they go to. Check the wiki forehead. <laughs> Every you know maybe only his decidedly very violent speed upgrade knows for sure.
X Max. Well, I mean, I think I can. I think I can. Uh, creeper. Oh man. I see Pinguigo. Launch octopus. The bird. The armadillo. The elephant. The chameleon. Espio. Uh, the Golden Girls. Okay, Kuanger. Uh, it's it's hard for me to say which is my favorite, honestly. X4 is pretty good. X4's final boss is pretty good, if not extremely difficult. And you, as Mega Man X. Uh, I went down. <laughs> I'm going down. My seat has descended. <laughs> Get back up there. Capcom All Staff. That guy's great. Me and all staff went to college together. And that's obviously that. That's obviously it. There's nothing that appears on the last screen here. I may, now I may have gone too far up. <laughs> you have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit still remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. I think that's it. <laughs> kind of a downer note to end on, but... Yeah, I mean, I can imagine, like, you know, you think you're done with the game, and then Sigma shows up again, and he's like, I'll be back. I mean, I could see that scaring a kid. Well, anyway... That that that'll be it. That's that's there's no there's no game left. Game is <laughs> over. But we will return with Mega Man X the the second one, which will be the uh, actually the first game I've streamed on this channel using uh, the SD to SNES I have. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, bye. Oh, I'll see you.